Hey guys, it's Jen Peter IDX, and today we are trying a bunch of fun new makeup. Uh, okay, so we have a few eyeshadows to choose from, and I think I'm just gonna dip into kind of all of them, but the star of the show will be the NYX Sugar Trip Squad Eyeshadow Palette. Mm. Now, as per usual, this was kind of expensive for drugstore, but we're gonna try it. We also have two new eyeshadow palettes from JCat Beauty. These are so cute. I got the, th there's three of them. I got all three. The third one was a little more colorful than I wanted to try. So I'm actually gonna save this one. If this is, if these turn out to be good, I will save this for a giveaway. If it's not any good, I'll open it and try it and, or I'll just return it. So I also have other new stuff to try, but we're just gonna get right on with the eyes and we're gonna chit chat while we do it. So first I'm gonna go in with this kind of pale shade right here in my crease. I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush, 305, I got this at Marshalls. So I'm not really sure what kind of a look I'm going for today. I mean, I feel like I always do warm looks, but I mean, I just can't help it. This is, has such great warm colors in it that I'm probably gonna do another warm look. So just deal with it. All right, so I'm gonna go on with this kind of peachy shade right here. Just gonna kind of chit chat while I do this. If I feel the need to mention something about the eyeshadow, then I will. All right, so has anybody seen like an odd amount of Dyson videos lately? Like, um, you know, Dyson makes the vacuum and now like the hair products. So a few years ago, they came out with the blow dryer which was just like $400. And then just now they came out with this big case of like a curling iron and brush heads and a little like mini kind of version of the blow dryer. This fucking set is over $500. I think it's like $550. Now I'm a professional hairstylist, so I don't have any issues with paying higher prices if the quality is good. Now mind you, in my eyes, Dyson is not a professional hair brand. So that right there is a strike against them. My other issue is that one of these videos from a YouTuber that I love and trust made a comment and said, you know, a lot of people received this PR package from Dyson. I didn't, I bought it. So I was like, oh, like good for him. Well, I saw the same exact thing today from another huge YouTuber who said, who said she bought it herself. And they had the same exact things to say about it. And now, obviously it could be a very good product. Now it's a one base and it comes with like five different heads you can put on the base. One's a blow dryer, like a, like a mini dryer. One's a curling iron, two are brush heads. And then one is like a circle brush head, $550. Now here is where it gets suspicious to me. All right, I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with this kind of orangey shade right here. Now, in both of these videos, who both claim they didn't get this in PR, they both said the two brush heads do the exact same thing. See, these are why chit chat videos are just a bad idea for me because I chit chat instead of doing my makeup, so it's really just a chit chat video. The two brush heads do the exact same thing, so you don't need both of them. The curling iron is a cool idea. I don't know. I just can't get behind something that's over $500. This is like almost half a mortgage payment, first off. It's not a professional hair brand. And something about the both of those reviews from these very honest, big YouTubers just rubbed me the wrong way. And they were just so similar. Like they had some cons, but they both said, oh, you everybody should get this. Like, I don't know. I don't really trust you guys now. All right, so these are blending out quite nice. They're layering nicely as well. So what I'll do is I'll do like kind of a warm base and then I'll put a pop of one of these like non-warm colors on top. Now I'm gonna go in with this red color. Honestly, recently, like the last like week, I've literally only been using these two brushes to do my eye makeup, like my whole look. These two brushes and my finger. So we have the Sigma E25 and the 305 Real Techniques brush here on the left. And I've been pretty happy with the results. Also, I have something pretty exciting to tell you guys. So you know my battle of the boxes I do with my Korean beauty box, Boutique. Well, Boutique contacted me and wants to send me some holiday stuff to review for you guys on my channel. I'm so excited. This is the kind of stuff I've been waiting for. I'm assuming they don't just send this stuff to everybody, so I'm assuming they've watched a bunch of my videos and see that I'm honest. And my last video, they didn't win. So that's pretty cool, they still wanna send me stuff. All right, oh crap, I forgot I had these. Okay, maybe I'll just save these for my next video. 
All right, so I guess we're gonna go in with this <clears throat> deep kind of reddish brown color here as the final color on the lid. This color is looking a little patchy. Hopefully I can layer it better with my finger. I just hate when this happens. Like everything's going good and that one color comes in and fucks it up. This color is a little harder to blend out. As you can see, it's definitely looking patchy. So I'm gonna go back in with the red and try to clean this up a little bit. But see, you can see like that line didn't blend out. Uh, it doesn't, that doesn't look that great. That bothers me. All right, so now I'm gonna put down my next glitter glue, which I've actually, I said this didn't compare to the Too Faced glitter glue, but now that I've actually worked with it a bit more, I found that it's actually pretty good. I'm just gonna make my whole lid lime green. That is a very nice color. Good pigmentation, like the formula feels good. Very pretty. All right, so now, I'm gonna rush through my face makeup, some, some of the stuff that isn't new, and I'll be right back. So my non-new makeup is done. We're gonna go back into Sugar Trip Squad and do, ugh, am I gonna regret this? We're gonna go and try to do this blue at the bottom. So who do you guys like to watch while you're getting, while you're doing your makeup? Like, do you guys have somebody that you like to watch? I like, I don't like this color. I like Jessica Braun and Rach Loves and a smaller YouTuber who I used to be in a group with called Behind the Scent. Like they're like the ones that I can sit and listen to and like be entertained without having to sit there and like stare at the screen. I don't really know, oh God, this does not look good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back in. Oh good, I look awful. Oh, you know what? I'll just go back in with the crappy brown color and I'll use that kind of deepen under my lash line. All right, so, so far my views on this palette are very mixed. I think this is $22 or something. The pans are big, I'll give it that. The warms are nice, but the the warms that I've used in this one, I mean, I'm pretty sure are in a bunch of other palettes, but let's just finish and then, and then I'll decide whether I'm gonna trash it or not. Now we're gonna do liner and I am going to be using the Marc Jacobs, what is this called? And it's this gorgeous teal color Saw Samantha Ravindal use it, and she can convince me to do anything. Ah. You know, like some gel liners don't go in your waterline very well. This is not one of those liners. Now, I will say though, I have tried a few of the Marc Jacobs like regular like matte pencils, and where they're nice, I don't see what all the rave is about, to be completely honest. But I mean, they're nice. This is very, very cool. And I'll actually, I'm actually gonna do a little more lining with it like on my lower lash line, hold on. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. Wow, that is very, very pigmented and really easy to use. Like, like it blends out super, super easy, wow but it still like keeps its color, holy crap. Thanks, Sam. All right, what next? Okay, so I found this actually at Ross. I don't think this is new, but I found this for $12. It's from The Balm and it has like nine products in it, like a bunch of eyeshadows, uh, the Mary Luminizer and a bunch of blush and bronzers up here. I'm gonna go in with Frat Boy, which I've never used before. I mean, this palette had to have been like at least 30 bucks at one point. I'm really annoyed with this brown. Like this left like a line on my eyes that I can't blend out. That's just, that makes me wanna wipe everything off and start over, but I'm not going to. All right, so for highlight, we have also from NYX, this is the Machinist Ignite Highlighting Duo. I think they have two or three variations of this. Let's see, we have a white one and like a bronze one. The bronze is definitely, ugh, motherfucker. It's pink, ugh. No, all right, I'm not using this. I'm returning it because no. All right, so for highlighter, do we have anything else to use? You know what? We'll go in with my new Angel Heart Highlighter Blush Duo and I'll use the highlighter from this side. And this is from Makeup Revolution. Hmm. Oh God. I mean that in a good way, whoa. Makeup Revolution, you never disappoint me. Oh, wait, really quick. 
This is by Catrice. This is my favorite like gold liner. It's like literally like liquid metal. Look at this. I've never found its equal. They don't make this anymore. I can't find this on their website, on their UK website, Ulta, nowhere. So Almay just came out with these gel smooth metallic liners. Now this is a silver one, but this is very similar in its metallicness, I guess. So I'm gonna try a few more of these. They don't have gold though. Almay, if you're watching on a very off chance, you need, you need a gold. And for lips, I have two things to choose from. We have the Kat Von D Lovesick Liquid Lipstick that we just got in our BoxyCharm or new from Essence. And this is the, this is me nude lipstick. It's like a clicky pen. NYX had these, I didn't like them. Why didn't I like them? Oh, because the, the shape of actually like this. Oh no, fuck, it's the same shape. It's a teardrop shape. I don't know, maybe this will be better, hold on. See, this is what happened with the NYX. It's in a teardrop shape. So the tip of it is so fragile and thin up here that it breaks off so you don't get that. It's just a circle and it kind of just ends up being messed up. I will try this, but not in this one. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D. I don't hate it, but this doesn't really go with that. But I mean, who really cares besides me? So my final thoughts are, I don't know if this is worth it to be completely honest. The colors that I used, like, well, I didn't use this one, but I'm pretty sure this will be fine. The warm shades were good, not amazing. The green was very pretty. I don't know, I'll have to use it a few more times, but as of right now, you don't need this. This is fucking cool. If you come across this, definitely grab it up. It's worth it. And I'm gonna return this because this has a pink shift and this is like bronze. So I can't use this for anything except my eyes, which I would never do. So I'm returning it. 20% off is coming up at Sephora again and again later on for the holidays. If I would recommend grabbing one of these. Or PS, I actually got this from Marc Jacobs website. If you sign up with them, like they send you emails for 25% off. So that's when I got the big bronzer and this. So I got it for 25% off, which is more than you get off at Sephora. So that's pretty cool too. All right, so that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Everything I used today will be listed in the box below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.